The definition of sexy is subjective. There are definitely differences of opinions when it comes to how attractive a person is. Some people like long and powerful legs. Some love a cute smile, while others simply enjoy bountiful bouncing boobies. The women on this list are not only sexy, but they have the ability to tear your ass to pieces. You asked for it, so we're gonna give it to you. This is the top five hottest women of video games that could probably kick your ass. Let's go ahead and get this one out of the way. You knew she was going to be on the list. Lara Croft has been giving boners to teenage boys ever since the mid-90s. There's no denying the adoration we have for that booty. If I'm going to be looking at the backside of a character for hours on end, there's no better backside to be looking at than this. But Lara's no softy. Over the years, this chick has learned how to survive. Whenever she's trying to discover vast fortunes, for some reason, wild beasts and irrational humans want to murder her. But she won't go down without a fight. According to the creator of Tomb Raider, her look was inspired by the late 80s British comic Tank Girl and Swedish hip-hop artist Nene Cherry. This catacomb-crawling archaeologist loves to show off her muscular legs, booty shorts, and tight t-shirts. Although she's been redesigned for a more girl-next-door look in recent incarnations, she's still a video game vixen. And don't even get me started on that super sexy accent. <laughs> I'm afraid you've been misled. I only play for sport. You gotta love a woman in uniform. And by uniform, I mean a battle-ready exoskeletal power suit. Samus Aran is the main antagonist of the Metroid series. No, guys, her name is not Metroid, and this is not Zelda, and that's not Ratchet & Clank. Get it together, people! This space-traveling bounty hunter's full-body Zero suit shows off all of her... Uh, assets. A new generation of gamers may have seen her in Smash Brothers or perhaps Metroid Other M, but old Sammy was all the rage back in 1986. In the original Metroid, you never think about the gender of a person inside of a power suit. Back then, most main characters and body armor were considered to be male, but when you beat the game, you get a special pixelated treat of Samus wearing only a bikini and people everywhere nearly lost their minds. Nowadays, Samus can be seen in outfits that are just as skimpy as they were in the olden days. I'm not sure why she would be wearing a sports bra and Daisy Dukes to a street fight, but I'm not complaining. Genetically engineered by scientists to be the perfect woman, Miranda Lawson of the Mass Effect series has got to be on this list. She was created to be the specimen of human perfection. Everything from her intelligence, biotic abilities, to her physical appearance were designed before birth to be utterly excellent. The scientist, including her own father, got into the kitchen to whip up a sample of goodness and boy oh boy did those eggheads do a good job with the recipe. But like the other ladies on this list, she's no pushover. Remember, she was engineered to be perfect, so that includes different tactics on how to kick your ass. What is it with women in space and skin-tight cyber booty hugging yoga pants? I mean, I'm not complaining, but if you want me to focus on the mission, at least wrap a jacket around your waist for Pete's sake. Once Miranda entered the game, you knew that you were going to try to romance her, and romance her you did. Aw, yeah. That sweet, sweet engine room. Groovy, baby, yeah. If you've ever played those Capcom fighting games, then you're definitely familiar with Morrigan Angelin. Although she's the heir to the throne of the demon world, she instead chooses to gallivant around the human realm, seeking pleasure and excitement. This little lady may look innocent enough, but don't get too close to this sultry succubus. She'll knock your teeth out. Nothing's worse than getting beaten by a sexy, soul-sucking demon after she flirts with you. Aren't you just the cutest? But besides the fact that she can whoop ass like nobody's business, she's damn near naked. I mean, look, her boobs are literally about to fall out. There's nothing supporting those bad boys. Plain and simply, Morrigan is a character with sex appeal and an alluring personality with a costume that exhibits her features as much as possible. When I was in middle school, I would always play as Morrigan to beat the game because I knew I would get to see her in a fantastic pose at the end. <laughs> Aw, yeah. Number one is a collective title shared by all of the ladies of the Dead or Alive series. Yep, all of them. Every last one of them. Couldn't just pick one, sorry. The boys over at Tecmo knew what they were doing when they made this game. Honestly, at first, Dead or Alive was just a cool little fighting game with well-endowed women. But as the series continued, those endowments started to shine through more and more. I mean, the game has a dedicated physics engine whose sole purpose is to animate the bounce of each individual breast. But then, in 2003, something creepy Yet marvelous happened. Dead or Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball hit the scene and people were furious, but they still bought it for research purposes. Playboy Magazine said the women of DOA are the best looking virtual women to grace a video game. I say these girls just want to have fun and they're letting us watch, so yeah, that's cool. These ladies are trained in the skill of beating your ass, so please don't get any bright ideas. The women of DOA managed to achieve a combination of sexuality and strength, but mostly sexuality. 
thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to